do you feel that you know because many say that ban this and ban that uh, do you believe that that is a solution to it banning a documentary here banning a book there uh, asking a, a, a channel not to broadcast no, in no, india no 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 look uh, I, I i i i don't think that you are asking the right question i would i would ask you i'd ask you a counter question what is it we are debating we are not debating just a documentary or a speech that somebody gave in a european city or a you know a new york a, new, a newspaper uh, edit somewhere we are debating mm. actually politics which is being conducted ostensibly as media as so you know you there is a phrase war by other means mm. there is also think of it this is politics by another means I mean, you'll do a hatchet job, then you want you want to do a hatchet job and say, well, you know, this is uh, uh, just another quest for truth which we decided after twenty years to put out at this time. So, uh, so I mean, come on, you think the timing timing is accidental? I mean, let me tell you one thing. I don't know if you election season has started in India and Delhi or not, but for sure it has started in London and New York. Hmm. Okay, so this is what it is that you know. There's a lot that is say, being said that the rise of Mr. Modi and consequently the rise of India, these two things are happening at the same time, which is not acceptable to people in these Western capitals that you're talking and certain Indian quarters too. Do you agree with that point of view? I, think, I mean, do you doubt it? I'm asking you. No, uh, look. Look who welcomes because it. Because Ashley Tellis, you know Ashley Tellis, right? Who are cheerleaders? Your no, 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 no. Let me yeah. let me answer answer your question. You know what is happening is, just like I told you, this drip, drip, drip. How do you shape a very extremist image of India, of the government, of the BJP, of the Prime Minister? Huh? I mean, this has been going on for a decade. Okay, let's let's not uh, have uh, illusions about it. How some of this has a different variant, which is you will say something. There's an echo chamber. You will it will be picked up outside. Then you say, "Aha! See, they are saying it outside. That must be true." Then you will say it inside. So there's a ding dong uh, going on. See, look, this is a globalized world. People take that politics abroad. Politics of India doesn't stop at its borders. Sometimes politics of India doesn't even originate in its borders. It comes from outside. You know. Ideas come from outside. Agendas come from outside. Otherwise, please tell me, please tell me why suddenly, uh, you know, there's a surge of reports and you know uh, attention and and views. I mean, were some of these things not happening earlier? I mean, I I gave you the example of Assam. Yeah. I mean, you people speak about okay, you had to make a documentary. Many things happened in Delhi in 1984. Why didn't we see a documentary on that? If if that was your concern, that you son, you know, you felt suddenly one day, okay, I'm very humanistic and I must get justice for people uh, who have been done wrong. So, uh, so look, don't don't kid yourself. This is mm -hmm. politics at play. This is at politics at play by people who do not have the courage to come into the political field. They want to have the Teflon cover, saying that you know I'm an NGO, I'm a media organization, etc. But they are playing politics. You know so that does, I know that. How does BJP react to this? Is it, or your government, f for that matter? Is it reaction? You know, is it a reactory, a reactionary measure that you have to take? H how do you no, counter I, this? Look, I I think we will put our point of view across, hmm. and as should be rightfully done in a democracy, eventually the public will give its verdict. 